Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Seth, and I'm presenting my project on biology animated, as you've seen multiple times. And so you already know the things I love, and I love to bike, I love to bake, and I love biology. But now that I'm into coding, I'm going to have to change the name for cooking, cycling, and cells. So as you know, I'm a biologist. I study fish behavior, so I'm a fish doctor. And uh, I've been recently teaching at FIU, and I teach in their online and hybrid program, so I use technology for teaching. And my inspiration for education, and especially online teaching, is I was a distant learner student for most of my life, up until high school, because I grew up in this place in the middle of nowhere in Colombia, so you can see there, that's exactly where my house is. And if you see anything around it, it's because there is nothing there. <laughs> so, and nothing for many, many miles. Uh, so I was very lucky that I had, my parents knew someone in the city who was the principal at a school, and she allowed us to take all the material for the entire school year so I can do it on my own, and then come at the end of the year, present the final exams, and if I did well, then I could do it the same the next year. And, uh, but unfortunately, that was not the case for the rest of my neighbors. So this is the indigenous community that lives next door to the farm I grew up. They don't have schools, they don't have, well now there is a school that is like a um, grammar school. But there is really no access to any higher education. But if you look at them closely, you notice that there is something that they do have and it's that they have smartphones. And now in today's world, almost a third, a two thirds of the world population have access to smartphones. So if we can make education accessible on a smartphone, you can actually bring education to remote communities. And uh, a good way of learning is actually learn by playing, learn by doing in a safe environment where you can interact with the material and there is no risk to you and you can have unlimited opportunities for trying. And, and also what some of you have mentioned of gamification, gamification, so if you have rewards and you make it fun, then it will be easier to learn. Some of the technical challenges is for this project we had to use React. And so far we've been accustomed to pretty straightforward um, ways of coding, so hearing when we did jQuery, if you just wanted to change the color of a button, all you had to do was add a line. But in React, if you want to add, change the color of a button, you have to think and plan accordingly, and you have to do that in multiple places. So you have to find a way to keep track of that. And, oh, that was gonna show you the demo. And it's gonna look very, this is the wrong, the wrong link, I don't know what happened. It's gonna look very similar to the one I showed you last time, but it's actually done very differently. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the instructor portal. So you log in. And uh, so you can see the courses, and uh, you can edit the course if you want. You can add assignments. So right now I only have one assignment that is available, but the idea is to have multiple activities. That's one of the to-do things, so that right now this is the only exercise available. And, uh, but we hope to have more of those. And you can see the students. You can search for a student. Uh, you can sort them. So you can sort them by name, or last name, or the email. And you can see the assignments that are for this course. And you can, so let's create a new course. You have to set up the dates. And then you choose your image for your course. 
Now let's say you don't want that name, so you want a different name, so you can change that. And so the part I wanted to show you is as a student, if you sign up as a, with a student account, The idea is that you can do this and have good access. Let me just make this smaller. Oh. So I want to show you the cell phone view. What's happening? So you can see it on a phone. You can go into the course. You can do the assignments. And this should have opened like that. And it forces the uh, view to be display on landscape, um, landscape mode, because that is the, the best way to see it in a small screen. So these are the buttons that I told you took a very long time to find out how to make them change color. So, uh, so that's how you play, and then when you gain, you win, then it shows you the, um, it doesn't show you the scores right now, so that's one of the things that I need to add. So for the what's next, uh, I need to start recording the students who completed, the time they took, and I need to create more activities because so far this is the only one that I have. And even though it looks the same, it's actually built in React, so that took a lot of time. Thank you. Woo